I'm Roshana Isaacs and this is Cover Mode. Assalamu alaikum. Shanaz Mwes is a registered psychological counsellor and also a mother of three. Shanaz saw a great need for offering emotional support to adults, children, couples and families in her community, specialising in counselling and workshops for adults and children that focus on building emotional intelligence or EQ. I'd like to welcome to Cover Mode, Shanaz Mwes. Assalamu alaikum, Shanaz. Wa alaikum salam, Rishan. Thanks for having me. And sure, it's been a while since I've been on radio. So. Oh, well, I'm glad to, inv- <laughs> to be the first to invite you in the year 2017. No, de- definitely. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I, you can see how comfortable I am sitting oh, here perfect, behind perfect. the mic. Yes. <laughs> Any chance to talk, Rishan, I'll take it. <laughs> now, I love people who can talk, especially on the subject that we're about to chat about. But, you know, a lot of what you counsel on and what, and the workshops that you offer is based around EQ. Yeah. Okay, now what is EQ? Okay, most people know about intellectual intelligence, you right. know how smart you are, and there are tests to, to take that. And a lot of us have actually been, yeah. you know, the, the, the sort of premises of everything that we are about is always based, based. on this IQ. We think that that's the, mm-hmm. the measure of success, but recent studies have proven that intellectual intelligence is not the key to success. Emotional intelligence is. So when we talk about emotional intelligence, we're talking about just being in touch with emotion, knowing and how to identify mm-hmm. how you feel, mm-hmm. having the sensitivity to know how other people are feeling and then having empathy. And I think that's where we've gone wrong as a community. We don't do much emotional stuff. It's, it's hard work. Um, and then just having the ability, you know, to know when to say, obviously, you know, somebody is, is heading headlong into a disaster. Right. But is this my place to say something? That's also part of emotional intelligence. Even with our kids, the mistakes they make are theirs sometimes and lessons to learn. So often we want to protect and shelter you and we are saying this in your best interest, but it's not a lesson that can be learned like that. Mm -hmm. So self-esteem is shaped by moments and moments, you know, interactions with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, And in childhood, our parents are the key um, shapers, you know, the molders of of how we view ourselves. And as we go out into the world, with school, there's your peers. So as you're moving along, your sphere increases of people who can impact your, your, but I still think parents play the most pivotal role in in self esteem and and critical parents, um, and I see that a lot in the adults who come in, not knowing how to connect with their kids. They didn't have this accepting parent model. Mm-hmm. So I am a critical parent. That's all I know. Yeah. Um, and perfectionism is quite a high uh, problem in in, the, in especially in the Muslim community. I think perfection. Why is it so important to develop one's EQ? It's important because this is how you relate to the world. If I am clueless about how I feel, I cannot pick up on how you feel. Mm -hmm. So their interpersonal relationships will be a disaster. Of course. Knowing how the other person feels will tell you, should I be confrontational in this conversation? Should I step back? Should I... All these skills which Mm -hmm. don't come natural. And the reason why I chose to focus on emotional intelligence because I saw it was lacking in our community. And the way schools operate, even the best of schools and the private schools, they they value intellectual intelligence. Yes. It's like and sporting ability second. So it's academic success, sporting success. But what are the people? What are the people's success? What about growing the child to be a holistic being?